Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending December 3rd, 2016. This is going to be the special Christmas gift giving edition and instead of, usually I focus completely on gadgets or gadgety type of things, I'm going to veer off a little bit. I'm not going to neglect the gadgets, but I'm also going to talk about some Christmas classic toys that I remember um, as a kid that either were uh, given to me or my sisters or stuff like that. Some of them are actually still around and you can get them. So. Let's go over them, and uh, all the links will be posted down below. And there's only going to be a few links to this anyway, because this one's going to be uh, multiple classic Christmas gifts. This is bestproducts.com. Um, some of you may remember it, and um, it's been still continuously made since 1915. The Raggedy Ann doll. Raggedy Ann began as a book character created by American writer Johnny Gruel and was produced as a doll in 1915. The yarn-haired tri triangle-nosed doll has largely held up its original design and her popularity inspired, inspired the conception of Anne's brother. Um, looks to me, I mean, in the picture here, looks to me just identical to the one I remember my sister having. Um, next up, 1910's Lionel Trains. I had an original Lionel Train set, too. I believe it came with a, the engine, coal car, uh, the, uh, what you call it, the uh, box car, I think a coal car, maybe, or a grain transport car and then the caboose so it had like four total I think you had the engine and four total cars that pulled behind two hundred and two dollars but you don't have to necessarily go with the original O gauge version like I had which is pretty good size but for uh, smaller kids and maybe to be able to get the accessories cheaper you can always go to HO um, they cost around maybe seventy five to a hundred bucks for a really good HO set just look on uh, amazon.com as usual most of these things are I think the references are to amazon.com but another real classic toy, too. And then we have 1910's Erector Sets. The Erector Set is a metal toy construction set first introduced to the public in 1913. I can see this one now. It's a little bit more updated. It doesn't have the metal case. It has a plastic case, and I think it's got uh, some more modern stuff, but it still seems to have at least the girders and stuff like that. I'm not sure if they're made out of plastic or metal, whatever, but the concept is still there. It's got the parts that you put together yourself. Uh, it says very, well, it does say various metal beams, holes for assembly using nuts and bolts. Um, so it's going to be pretty much operating the same way the original Erector sets did too. Uh, 1920s Radio Flyer Wagon, although I think three or four years ago, I think I talked about this um, in a, a previous uh, Christmas gift thing, that the Radio Flyer, <clears throat> unfortunately, unless you can find an older one, in good shape, they're no longer made in, uh, in the U.S., but um, still seem to be about the same quality and everything. Those can be had for around 133 bucks. Um, you also have Tinker Toys. That was one of my favorite childhood. I think I liked that a little bit better even than the Erector set was the Tinker Toy sets too. And I uh, made some pretty elaborate constructions with the Tinker Toy set. And uh, I think one of them was a windmill. Another one was actually a reproduction of the Eiffel Tower. Uh, I think us kids worked on it together and the parents helped us. And then you always have the Army figures, Army men figures, Bucket of Army men. Um, action figures, 200 piece set for $20. So, uh, yeah, and it even comes with uh, this particular set here, comes with uh, four sets, different color. I remember just the uh, the gray and the green ones, but here they have some yellowish ones and some uh, lime green ones, too, besides. <clears throat> but they can be found in different sets, all kinds of places, too. I think in Dollar General. Uh, 1930s microscope sets. Now, what I would, th these are, this one's around, a, it's called a beginner microscope set for uh, $40. I would suggest if you think your kid is really going to be interested in this, maybe spending just a little more, not a lot more, but maybe getting a used student microscope that somebody used in high school or something like that. You can catch those for 50, 60 bucks sometimes. And uh, they're just a little bit clearer, a little bit easier to use. I mean, not that these things aren't interesting enough to get you started. I had a, a microscope set about like these uh, toy play microscope sets, and they, and they work satisfactory. They're just not the best in the world if you really want to uh, get a little more advanced to, uh, than what they just start you with. And then uh, the Viewmaster Viewer, now it's, it doesn't look the same as before, and what they do is they actually arranged it so it would actually take your phone now and use your smartphone. You slide it in the Viewmaster Viewer, and then I guess you just download the thing instead of uh, the old uh, cardboard round things. Um, not sure if they still, they don't say right here, uh, but I'm sure still if you go on eBay, you could get the original Viewmaster Viewers and the, the little round cardboard carousels with the two views too. Um, and the 1940s Slinky, still made in the USA. Several of these toys actually, I think, still are made in the USA. Definitely the Slinky, as I know the, the lady whose husband actually started, his name was Richard James. She runs the company, and she's going to keep it in the United States, at least, I guess, until she passes away. And I don't know if she sells it to somebody, if she's going to make them keep it in the U.S. too. But the Slinky, 
that was just super cool. I mean, especially if you have any stairways to play with it or anything like that. Sometimes it get kind of bent and mangled up. They also have the plastic version of it, too, that doesn't tend to get bent as much, but it can also possibly break. Um, 1940s Magic 8-Ball, 10 bucks. I mean, some of these things that I'm talking to you about uh, don't really cost a lot. They could basically be, you know, just a, a throw-in gifts or stocking stuffers or something like that. You got Silly Putty for $13, and then, uh, well... I could go on and on and on. Uh, Mr. Potato Head uh, for seven dollars. A Mr. Potato Head. I remember when the Mr. Potato Head also used to come with uh, uh, an extra uh, bonus if you if you bought the right box. It had a bonus of another head, Peter Pepper Head. And then the older people, my dad's generation, said the original Mr. Potato Heads came in a box, but they didn't have the plastic potato. You you used your own real potato to do the Mr. Potato Head, which you could do anyway. So anyway. Just to kind of give you a thought, there's 53 of these. I just glossed over the ones that were really significant to me, but I left a lot out. Take a look at this. Uh, or 50, They feature 52 um, classic Christmas toys. And then let me give you my gadget, too, for um, adults or anything like that. This is what I would suggest. And this one, I, I don't have this specific version of it, but I've got one almost identical to it. It is just so handy. It's an Anchor Power Core Mini Ultra Compact Portable Phone Charger. And basically what it is, is it's just a, a lithium polymer battery in a, a little case that's maybe about, oh, I don't know, maybe half again longer than a, a, a stick of chewing gum and maybe about, you know, twice as wide as a fat cigar. $13.99. And uh, this is a 3300 milliamp unit. You can usually charge most phones at the very least. Uh, a regular phone, not a, not a super tablet, obviously, but a regular phone, you can charge it up for about halfway down at least twice and maybe even a third time or fully charge your phone one time and maybe uh, depending on how much your phone draws maybe half again another time so more than enough to get you out of a pinch and how many times uh, you know if you're out and about and you just don't have a place to plug your uh, charger in or somebody borrowed your charger or you just can't find it I'd say if somebody even has one of these already and you accidentally give them a second one it's still going to be appreciated as a gift because if you have one at home Maybe have given one to put in their pocket uh, of their coat or one to take to the office and stick in the back of the drawer. So if somebody steals their charger or, or something like that and they have to uh, get up and run. The nice thing about it, too, is like say you're in the office and you've plugged into a charger. How many times are at home you walk out and I've done it before. You've left your phone behind charging because you want to get it fully charged. And then you forget the rest of the day and you reach for your phone to make a phone call or something and it's not there. But if you put these little small mini chargers on it, you just put the whole thing in your coat pocket and go on your way and then you're ready to go. So anyway, let me know down in the comments if you guys have a specific uh, Christmas gift that you would recommend. It's probably an all-around good gift for anyone, male, female, younger, older, something like that. Let me know in the comments, and uh, take care, everybody, and I will catch you next week.